Okay. All right, here we go. We are getting started. This week is our stained glass week, which is really exciting because I guarantee you that this is something that probably more than 90% of the population has never done in their life. Even if they're an artist, it's, um, it's not super common anymore these days, although stained glass has been around for centuries and centuries. I don't know, have you guys ever been to a church building where they had stained glass windows? They're mostly used in like cathedrals and churches. Have you guys ever seen a stained glass window in your life? Oh, wow. See, well, I mean, we just don't use stained glass very often anymore. It's, it's not something you see all the time. I lived in France for a year, and it's, it's all over the chapels there. Um, and it's really beautiful. I hope that everyone gets to see stained glass someday, because when the light comes in, the, the colored windowed glass and it reflects all that color on the, the ground. It's really beautiful. Um, and it, it's quite an impressive art. So you guys get to do something really cool and different than most people ever get to do in their life. So this is a great opportunity. So we're going to start um, learning with glass fusing which is a little different than stained glass, um, but it, it kind of um, will give a similar look. And it's kind of more of a modern take on stained glass. A lot of artists now do fusing, which is um, taking two pieces of glass and joining them together in a kiln. Just like in ceramics, our ceramics kiln, we, we put the glass in the same kiln and it gets very, 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 very hot to the point where the glass melts. And when two pieces of glass are on top of each other, they kind of like melt into each other and become one. And that we call that fusing. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing together. Um, so we're going to be doing this today and tomorrow, and we're going to create two projects with it. Um, the first is we're just going to create um, a flat glass fusing that maybe you could hang in the window, and we have we have the tools to be able to put like little hooks in your glass um, while it melts so that you can hang it. Um, and the other one, tomorrow, we're going to be working on what's called a slope mold. And um, yeah, so when you put the glass in the kiln, you put this mold underneath. It's kind of shaped like a bowl or whatever shape you want. And when that glass gets really hot, the heat softens the glass and then the gravity kind of pulls the glass down into that shape. So then the glass cools and it comes out in the shape of a bowl or whatever shape you, you have. You heat it up. Yeah. You heat it up. Yeah. Um, we're going to heat it up in our kiln, which is at our studio. Kiln? Okay. Yeah. So you guys don't have to do that part. It gets really, really hot in our kiln. So we'll take your pieces, we'll okay. heat them up in our kiln, and then we'll bring them back to you. Cool, right? Yep. Okay, so today you are going to need all your little bags of broken glass. You should have uh, six colors. So I there are different colors. This is red. Yes, and you should have like six of those, Madeline. 
all different colors. If there's just a little piece of the broken glass, what we're looking for. Pictures, Lola. Okay, and then we're also going to need gloves. You guys have um, clear plastic gloves. So I want to tell you that we are working with glass and glass does have sharp edges. So you have to be really careful even with the gloves on because um, your gloves aren't designed for glass to protect your hands. They really you know, help a little. Jess, you know something I thought of last night? Since yeah. um, we're having such a hard time finding gloves, they could wear their winter gloves and put the plastic gloves on top. Um, yeah, that's the other true. thing I want to remind them of is um, today this probably won't be an issue, but sometimes when we're working with stained glass, uh, there's a thing called glass dust. And it looks like dust, but it's really a bunch of tiny glass shards. And you're gonna want to just like wipe it off. I do this all the time, even though I've been working with glass for many, many years. And it'll just give you a bunch of little cuts in your fingers. So I saw it on finger. What? I'm blown away. Your glass blow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can blow, you can blow it. That's totally fine. Um, just try to resist the urge to, to brush it with your hand. You're, you're going to want to do it. Um, and today you probably won't have a lot of, like a lot of glass dust to worry about, but I just want you to remember that also go, it'll go through your gloves. So just keep that in mind. Okay. 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 We have the cannon boys joining us right now. Yeah, so if you have some winter gloves, like, you know, those, um, those knit gloves, and you where they are, you can put those on and then put your plastic glove over the top, and that should protect you a little bit better. But still, just be careful handling the glass. Don't, like, slide your hand along the side. Be careful of these sharp points. Um, I cut myself yesterday while handling the glass, so it happens to even adults. <laughs> so um, just be aware of that all the time. And I hope this one gets cut this week. That would be awesome. Um, good job, Madeline. It looks great. I you know they might be a little <laughs> clumsy because they're probably way too big for your hands, but they'll help protect you a little. Okay. So always keep these on when you're handling the glass. You might want like a plate or something to pour your little glass pieces into so that you're not digging into the bag like and pick them up. Like a glass plate or like a... Any, any plate will do. Yeah, and that way you can um, just pick up an individual piece and you're not reaching into a bag full of glass shards. Hi, Cannon Boys. All right, you got gloves on. Looks great. You'll also need your little bags of glass, broken glass. You guys should have six colors. Mm -hmm. And then we were talking about maybe having like a plate or something to pour some of the colors out onto the plate. Those look great, Lola. I'm glad you had those. Okay. Uh, if you guys have little garden gloves that are your size, those will work great too. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, and if you ever feel uncomfortable, you can ask your parents to help. Um, I'm going to put my gloves on. And the last thing, well, a couple more things. We'll need the school glue, the Elmer's glue. Um, That's the glue. Is that it? 
And we'll need one of your larger sheets of glass. If you have three, one of the ones is all packed. And um, one will be for today's project. One will be for our small cannon boy today. We're doing something that's flat going to be fired flat today so that maybe we could hang it in the window and tomorrow we're going to be making something that will be then later formed into the shape of a bowl um, in the kiln so you have three pieces one for today one for tomorrow and then later on in the week we're going to be learning how to cut glass and so you have a sheet for that as well that we're going to make little things with. So you can choose whichever color you would like. Like if you want a bowl out of this clear, this white one has like an iridescent yeah. to it. Yeah, or, or whatever project you want, okay? You have a yellow one and a black one. Yeah, First choice, whichever one you want. I think today I'm going to work with What do you need? This yellow piece of glass. But you guys can work with any of the other colors. Yeah. Work with another color. And it would be best if you covered your area in newspaper. This is also included in your box. So I'm just going to pour two little pieces of each color of glass onto my plate. Try not to reach reach into your bag to get it. Just pour it out. Oh, eat all of it. Chandler, what was your question? Can we mix the colors of, um, not just have like, uh, yeah, you can mix your colors onto your plate. That's fine. What color of glass do we use? What was that, Sawyer? What color of glass. Are you asking how, how it gets colored? No, it's colored like this. This thing. Hold on, you're breaking up just a little bit. Are you asking what color you should start with? Yeah, no, what color is this supposed to you be? You can pick your own. Pick your own. Oh, yeah. that's what that's an iridescent white Sawyer. Whichever one you want. Yeah, but that it's a white that has um a chemical on it that when you turn it different ways, it has like um it 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 changes color a little bit. All that iridescent. So your white pieces have a little iridescent shine on them. 
Okay, yeah, so I just poured out all my different colors onto my plate. So, um, yeah, you guys can pick whichever color you want to work with today. This piece is probably going to be the piece where we hang in the window. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to make a, um, a magazine as well, but we're going to put it in the kiln to where it will melt into a mold that we're going to place it over. And then when it cools, it will retain that shape. So tomorrow we'll make like a bowl. And then later in the week, we're going to learn to cut. And so one of your sheets is for cutting. So you can decide which one you want to use for which project. You do not have to choose the same color as me. Okay, so these, these pieces um, of glass, when we put them in the kiln, it's going to heat them up to where they melt and they'll melt together. So like if I placed a piece there, it would fuse together right there. Okay, but if I just put this piece here and then I went to go move it to the kiln, it's going to move. And we don't want that to happen. Um, so to temporarily hold it into place where we want it to stay, we're going to put some glue on it. Okay, so you guys can do this one of two ways. You can put glue and just start placing as you go, or you can place all your pieces and decide what kind of pattern you want. Say I want, want it to look like this, and then when I have it all the way I want it, then I can pick up each piece and put glue down. So it just depends on however you want to work. If you just want to wing it or if you want um, to plan something out. Okay. And you can really use shapes and get it really creative. You can make images or patterns. Um, you could make like a flower, or you could just be placing shapes and, and make more of a modern geometric. Maybe I think that those pieces go well together. Start placing them, place the pieces wherever you would like. you're picking up your pieces of glass they are sharp and even though you have some kind of glove it's not it's not completely going to protect you you still have to be careful Some of your pieces have a smooth side, like this, these red pieces have a smooth side and a bumpy side. And I'm putting the bumpy side up. So my two smooth sides are, are 
And then my purple iridescent side, I'm also going to face up. The other side's not iridescent. I think same with my blue, maybe. So it's kind of like a puzzle, huh? I'll get to just piece of it. You guys don't have to use all the colors. If you don't like one of the colors, you don't have to use it. Also have these little um, little sticks in your kit that if it's easier to spread the glue around with that since you have gloves on you can use that stick. If you run out of shapes that you don't like, you can pour some more out of your your bag. And it's nice to kind of put small pieces next to large pieces. Kind of play with 
that juxtaposition of, of the small next to the large. You don't have to have them super close. You can spread them out further. For this, there's really no rules. You guys like doing puzzles? Yeah. Yeah. I love puzzles. So this is kind of fun. Okay. Yeah. Make your own puzzle. Cool. Um, maybe move them in closer together. I think. Yeah. Um, so they're going to fuse it, they're going to melt it, right? They're going to. So I'm starting to get something that I like right here. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to glue all this down. And then I'll keep working on the rest. That way it's a little easier to pick up those pieces that are now starting to get in the middle. That might be kind of hard to get to otherwise. Yeah, and I guess the, the problem with working like this is then you have to keep track of which ones you glued down and which you haven't. Whereas working the other way, you don't have to worry about that. Well, what about that one right there on that? So don't worry about the, the glue over here. We can we can what's wrong. You wanna take off? Do you wanna take off the other side? You okay? Yeah. Okay. Did the class get you? Yeah. And the glue, because we can clean up the glue on the outside. We're moving pieces in the glue. Probably like gluing into the Maybe we should move it on the nose bright blue. Those bright blues are
I'm just gluing them down with a generous amount of glue. And this, this glue will burn off in the kiln. You won't be able to see it after. It's just to temporarily hold it. gluing all my pieces down. Awesome, and you're all done with your whole thing? Yeah. All right. Wow. That's fast. You know, what you guys can do to help me um, is we're going to put a little wire on your, um, on this piece since we're firing it flat. We're going to mark with um marker where you want your hanger to be okay um like so i know which side is up and which side is down and you can mark that the permanent marker or anything that will just stay on the glass because when we fight it it will burn off okay but then i'll know before i fire it where to put where to put the wire and so what we do is we use a high fire wire like as a hanger and high fire wire doesn't, it doesn't burn up in the kiln, it just melts into the glass. So then the wire will be fused inside of the glass and you're, you can hang your, you can hang your glass here. Like right. top. So you're saying which one, the top of the thing and the bottom? That's yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. The smart so, wish. Which way is the top? Yeah, I don't want to like, I don't want to fire your, I don't want to fire your piece and then have the hanger upside down. You know what I mean? I want to make sure I get it right side up. Or like, I also, I don't want to get it sideways. You know what I mean? I know you guys know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so you can just get like a Sharpie and just mark the top. You can just say top. What if it doesn't matter which part's the top? Can you like decide which yeah. one's the top for you? Yeah, like all both of them are fine if you do either way. Okay, Lola. <laughs> That's fine. Thanks for being so easygoing. Well, then I'll know that I use my creative license to figure out what is the top for you. Okay. And Lola, you're welcome to add more pieces or you can clean up because um, we'll be doing the same thing tomorrow but with a new piece. Um, and you won't have anything to do tomorrow if you started on that. I don't think it's a big deal. You can take them off and rest and let your hands rest.
When you get this all done, we'll just um, want to keep it in a place where it can dry because it'll take this glue a little bit to dry since it's not paper and it's not soaking the glue into the paper. Um, the glue is going to take longer to dry. Okay. Really good. this larger piece I can put another one on top of it if I wanted to but I wouldn't go any more than three layers high okay so this is our base is one layer and then this would be two layers and then this one would be three layers so you can definitely put other ones on top to create, to create more layers I'm going to do that. For a month. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. You know what I could do? I could get you some. That you could put on top of that. That's going to be two. Think so? Yeah. She said don't go more than three high. Three layers, right? Ooh, yeah. Layers. You know how this one is like that? This, this one is basically. <laughs> So I'll show you guys um, in our curriculum some of the examples of some fused glass. Another one. 
one on this. It's really cool. And then this, okay, this yeah. lady created birds. <laughs> by putting different shapes like and colors that? together. Yeah. How that turns there you go. Some contrast. <laughs> So it's really beautiful things you can do with fusing glass together. How you doing, Madeline? Are you all done? Yeah, but do we have to fill it the whole thing? No, you do not have to fill the whole thing. You can do however much you want. Yeah. Okay. It is your design. Don't you always have a perfect place to put that? Hey, you guys can keep working on it or you're all done. I, think that's um, I would probably just let let it sit there if if you can um, for a little bit until it dries before you start to move it. But remember, um, if you pick it up and move it somewhere, put gloves on or have your parents do it for you. Um, <laughs> And then Kristen will come by and pick them up probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I think that their glass cutters should come in today, but I'll keep everybody posted on that. So I'm going to try to deliver the glass cutters and um, uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever else. Uh, yeah, I have a couple things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever else we need to deliver. Matt is in a, a couple of things in her box. Um, and so, um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna buy with all that stuff either Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'll let, I'll let parents, I'll let you know, and then you can set the stuff that needs fusing out. Okay. Yes. Yes. Do you want us to, like, take pictures of it? <clears throat> we would love to see pictures. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun to have a before and after too. Yes, it would. It would be really cool because it looks so much different after it's fused. Yeah, that would be fun. And then, um, 
Yeah, if you want, you can keep your plate of glass in a safe place. I have little kids, so I'm going to put mine up high. If you have little siblings, I would put your glass and your bags of glass in a safe place where no one can get a hold of them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not as much cleaning up as print making. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Once you get rid of all the glass shards, that's pretty much all you got to do. Yeah. Okay, well, we had fun today, guys. Let us know if you have any questions, okay? Yep. We'll you see guys you tomorrow. Yep, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye, everyone.